you can see by the title, I got my ace, my Bridge of Soul Special Edition from All Crate Jr. and All Crate because they went together to create this box. And it finally came. So if you're getting this box and you don't want to be spoiled, then don't watch. But yeah, I'm so excited. This came out um, at the beginning of this month, but um, Owl Crate Jr. had to wait for a, a item to get here, and it finally cleared and everything, so they're starting to come now. Yay! So you guys get a look first. What's inside? Even though the card or something fell just now. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, it says, oh, okay, it's a, it's the um, Spotify uh, thingy. Like, the songs. And then it has, like, the the, um, the photo challenge. So, here's the photo challenge. So that's cool. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put this. So we'll save that for last. It looks like there's a uh, poster. Cool. I don't see the spoiler thing unless it's down at the bottom. What is the cool? It says the inspectors. Do you want to hear a story? Must be the mom and dad, maybe, because they're the ones that are telling the story. I mean, talk about ghosts, even though they don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> I don't, at least I don't think they do. That's nice. Poster. We'll open the blanket last, because there ain't that many, there ain't that much stuff in here, because, of course, they put a blanket in here, so. Ooh, I like this. It says, the Society of the Black Cat Enamel Pen. That's nice. I like that. That's really cute. And then we got something in here. This little pouch. Oh, it's a mirror. Cool. It says, um, look and listen, see and know. This is what you are. That's what it says. That's cute. You know, I never use the mirrors. <laughs> Of course, they can't put much in here when they buy a blank, when they put a blanket in here. Ooh, these um, trading cards, looks like. Oh, yep, trading card set. <laughs> we, oh, if I can get this open, we'll open it. Don't know if I'll be able to open it because my fingers don't want to work. I don't have nothing in here to help me. Oh, I got it, I think. Ooh, I see a book. <sighs> As long as there's a bookmark in this, I'm happy because then I have a bookmark to go with the book. Yay! I'll show you guys that in a minute. I get this opened. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I just got everything everywhere. I don't want to accidentally throw that away, so... It shows this person, Renee, and her specialties. And that's, I'll just show you the back. I'm not going to show you what the specialties are in case you would consider it a spoiler. So I'm just going to show you the back. And then it's got Filipina, Filipina, something like that. I'm so bad at pronouncing the name. But there's that one. There's the name if you want to know it. How to say it better. Then we got Michael. And that's him. Then we got Professor Lucas DeMont. And then we got Laura Chowdara? Dara? I don't know how you say this last name. Then we got Jacob Ellis Hell. That's the ghost, of course. We got the inspectors. Let's see. Yeah. Then we got Grim, which is the cat. I love the cat. We got the in in immersy in immersy. How do you say that word of death? And we got Cassidy, which is the main character. And in case you don't know what this is about, it's about the girl that. She almost died, and she got saved by this ghost, and now she can see ghosts. And her and the ghost are, like, going around 
and solvent things. And we got some chapstick. I usually don't use the chapstick. I usually give it to one of the kids. It says Big Easy Bonnet, 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 something like that. Uh, it's a vegan lip balm. Mm. Um, let's see. Does it have a certain flavor? I don't know if it has a... It says olive fruit oil, something what, candelia, something like that, wax, coconut oil, she butter, palm fruit oil, jojoba, something like that, seed oil, rose hip speed, or seed oil. If I can get it open, I want to see. Mmm, smells good. Maybe I'll try a little bit. It smells kind of like chocolate. I don't know. It has like a really sweet smell to it. Yeah, it kind of broke on my lip a little bit. <laughs> Probably because my lip is so dry. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. I don't know if I'll use it though. Here's the bookmark. I love bookmarks, you guys. Like I really, really love bookmarks. And it says, we have found you and we will return you to the dark. Now, isn't that creepy? Now, this would be cool because this, this is, you know, you can even use this at, like, when for Halloween when you're doing your, you know, spooky reads. Which I like because I don't have very many spooky ones. Then we got this and then the, um, we got this and then we got the, um, blanket. But I'm going to show you the blanket last. I'll show you the book next. So we got some, oh, a picture, maybe, a picture frame, oh, cool, okay, you can put it up, okay, do not enter seance in session, Hotel Karik, Karik, I forget how you say, pronounce the hotel's name, that's cool, that'd be awesome to, like, Ooh. hang up at your door on Halloween, you know, on your, when you're, for Halloween, like, when somebody comes and stuff, you can just hang it on your little door there. Cool beans. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the, like I said, the, the, um, the book, and then I'll show you the, um, what'd you call it last? The blanket last. Ooh, cool. It looks like there's a sticker in there. I know Al, I mean, Al Crate Jr. usually gives a sticker each month in their box. So I'm so glad it has the book, a bookmark to go with the book. I tell, I tell um, people all the time, if you give me a bookmark in every box, I would be a happy camper because I love me bookmarks, especially if it goes with the book. Do that all the time and I'd be a happy camper. Okay, there's nothing else in there, so I can put this down. I like this box. It's called Magical Monthly Reads, the whole Crate Junior group. It's a cute box. Ah, I dropped the blanket. It rolled off my lap. I'll have to get up and get it. Well, it looks like a stamp, doesn't it? That's cool. It's a, it's a, of course, it's a sticker, but it looks like, you know, <laughs> it looks like a stamp. Brother, now if I could get that blanket... And then it's the, that, and then the, the author note. When I started this series, it was, oh, it said, first it says lovely readers. When I started this series, it was with a simple something, something, something. <laughs> I don't know. Can't read that part. History there are ghosts and few places have histories and as vibrant and troubles troubled as New Orleans. From ghosts to witches to vampires. This is a city with centuries of shadows, so it's not surprised that here Cassidy and Jacob are about to face their scariest enemy yet, a message messenger of death itself. Is Cassidy up to the task? You'll have to read on to find out. I love getting to know some of the city and secrets, and I hope you will too. Happy read reading. There's like little cute little ghosts right there. 
Darn, I gotta figure out how I gotta get up and get my blanket to show you guys the blanket. But that's what the cover looks like. That is cool, isn't it? I think I got a little bit of a chapstick on there, but I love how creepy looking that is and how uh, shadowy it is. Have you gonna say? Ooh, there's like a little symbol there. You can see it. And then there's the back. If I could get that blanket, you guys, <laughs> I'll show it to you guys because it went rolling. This is cool. Of course, it's signed by Victoria, which is awesome all the time. Uh, let me see. And the map. You guys know I love maps. Now, it if you guys want to be watching this, if you guys don't want to be spoiled. So, um, just to be on the safe side, I am going to read what it says. And this is the third book. I don't know if this is the final book. I can't remember, but I know it's the third book. So, if you haven't read the first two, then, you know, you might not want to listen to what uh, what it says it's about. So, I'll wait a couple seconds while you leave if you don't want to know what, what, it's, what the blurb says. And I'm going to see if I can get the blanket. So, I'm going to, like push this back just a little bit where I can get the blanket because I don't want to pull a muscle because I pull my muscles very easy. <laughs> okay, you should be gone if you don't want to be spoiled for what it says the book is about. It says, where there are ghosts, Casty Blake follows. Unless it's the other way around. Cass might have the ghost hunting thing down. She and her ghost best friend Jacob have survived too haunted cities while traveling for her parents show but nothing can compare Cass for New Orleans a city bursting with old magic secret societies and a scary se seance and the biggest surprise an enemy Cass never expected to face a messenger of death itself is Cass up to the challenge and what will she have to lose in order to win it says from the New York Times bestselling author Victoria Swab this hotly anticipated follow-up to the City of Ghosts and Tunnel of Bones delivers the most thrilling, I mean, most thrills yet. It don't sound like it might be the last one. Maybe there'll be more, which I don't mind. I would love if, if she had kept doing these for a while. Looks like there's exactly 300 pages, so that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to read this this month. I was thinking about, like, maybe doing a reread of the other two. And then read in this one. But I might read this one and then do a reread. Like maybe like around Halloween time. Of the whole, th of all three. And the last thing is the blanket. So let's get this out. Let's we'll show it this way first. Let me open, the, get the box real quick where I can put this wrapper in it. I know this is a mess of a video, but oh well. No, that's what it looks like first. I'll take the paper off. It says Two of Swords Blanket. Um, uh, it says Stay Cozy with fa While Facing Challenges with this Two of Swords Tarot Card Blanket. Inspired by Cassie Blake. Blanket designed by Forensics and Flowers. Package design by Michelle Gray. If I can get this out. I'm just gonna take, just tear it, don't matter. Ooh, it's nice and soft. Ooh, it smells good. I don't know what it smells about it, but it smells good. <laughs> I don't know which way you're supposed to, I don't know which way you're supposed to. Let's see, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the front and what's the back. I mean, what's the, you know. Let me, um, see. Let me turn it this way and see. Let me see which way you're supposed to do this. Okay, it's this way because it says, let me get this. Because it says two of swords somewhere. So I'm trying to find that there for you guys. But you guys can see where it says the two of swords. Maybe it's this way. I think that's the way you're supposed to go. Let me see if that's right. Yeah. 
think it goes this way. Let me um stand. Let me push this back and stand up. Let's see if you guys can see it better. It's kind of hard to show it otherwise, but it's cute. I like it. You know, I have so many blankets, you guys. So many blankets. I used to be like, I want a blanket and never got one, and now I get them all the time. But look at this. You see the everything there. And that's where it says the sword part. Two of swords. That's it. And then I'm gonna sit down and put it, spread it out on on my lap, and you guys can see it a little bit spread on that way. So it's a nice size. Okay, you guys can watch me go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice size. It's nice and comfy. It's definitely is going to be nice to have around Halloween time when I want to, like, cuddle and read some spooky books. <laughs> but, yeah. That is the blanket. I love it. Of course, the blanket and the bookmark are my favorite things in the box. You know, I do like the um, little thing you can use for Halloween time to put on the door. My least favorite, of course, is the chapstick just because uh, I'm not a big chapstick user. And the tarot card or the character cards are okay. But this is definitely my favorite. It's so pretty. What is your guys' favorite thing in the box? Is it the blanket or would it be what? I just love blankets, even though I have so many now. <laughs> but it's nice. I'm probably going to enjoy this today because I will cuddle up with a, a book and read and cover with this one for a little while. Like it a lot. That is it, you guys. A Monday, my owl crate for March should be here. Let me put this back closer to me, but yeah. My March box should be here Monday, so you'll get another unboxing, and I'll talk to you guys then, or in my vo reading vlogs. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasures, and I will talk to you guys, like I said, on Monday with another unboxing. Love you guys all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.